Welcome back. I'm going to be showing you how to get the Traveler's Curve Legendary Hunting Bow. This bow can be found Works. in uh, Aru, which is the afterlife in the Curse of the Pharaoh, and you get this by completing Love or Duty. Well, it's a pretty straightforward collect quest like work. most of the others in this game. I mean, it is, it is kind of interesting because... At this point, I haven't met an enemy type, which I meet at the, after receiving the bow, I meet a new type of enemy. But you're tasked with collecting a few different things. I mean, you go to this right here, you got to find her name. And then after this, you'll be tasked with going to a bakery to get some bread and some incense. But I'm going to uh, cut the commentary, let you guys watch the combat. Actually, did some pretty cool shit in this. And if you don't want to see the combat, just skip to the end, you'll see the bow. I'll let you know what I think about it. name changed to Yenefu when she entered the afterlife. Would Anubis have decreed this? I could reattempt Head's ritual with her true name. He spoke of bread and incense.
I must find a brazier for his spell. I should not be seen in this area. Let into the servant of Anubis. I must release it.
gave her peace. She was my sword for a millennia. But all are reunited when duty is done. And so shall it be for you. Alrighty, that is the quest complete. And they did this to me, they spawned me getting stabbed, which is kind of shitty because I'm playing on Nightmare difficulty. But there it is, the Traveler's Curve. That's the new enemy type right there. He reanimates the dead. But here we go, switch into it. It has a two charging speed, two adrenaline on kill, and sleep on hit. It's pretty underwhelming as far as a legendary weapon would go. I mean, it is a hunting bow, you, what what else could you give it? I mean, max charge speed would have been nice on this thing, but as you can see, I'm on uh, legendary, or not legendary, pff, nightmare difficulty, and I mean, it's doing work, don't know how that arrow missed, but is it, eh, I mean, you obviously get it, it's a quest, it's a pretty easy quest, it looks badass, like it definitely looks so damn cool. It's got like the, the falcons on it with the nice gold. But sleep on hit, eh, on a bow, not my not my favorite. It's comparable to the uh, painless death, which is another sleep on hit bow. Except I feel like it's better because it has a forge charge speed and a three add on hurt, a little different. But that painless death can be found from the hidden ones DLC. But anyway, if you guys uh, enjoyed the video, found it all helpful, uh, help me out. Drop a like and subscribe for more Assassin's Creed content.